Hey, let's dive right in. You guys have a massive matchup this week, taking on number one seed Houston. Going to be a huge game. Tell us about the game. Tell us how you're liking this matchup. I uh, love to hear from the captain of the squad. Uh, well, as you know, they, I mean, they, they have one of the top offenses and top defenses in the country. Obviously, uh, their defense speaks for itself. Um, I'm not going to take any credit away from them. They're a great team. Um, but I'm just excited for the opportunity. Just another chance to go to a Sweet 16. Um, I know there's a lot of guys first time. It's my second time. So kind of got to share my experiences with uh, all the other guys. But I'm just excited for this matchup in Dallas. How you feeling, man? Because I want to talk about your health for a second. I mean, you had a pretty nasty dislocation of your pinky finger just very, very recently. Um, always pretty badass when a player can throw back in their joints and go back to work. But obviously, you're a basketball player. You, you need your hands. How has it affected your game and practice this week? How you feeling right now? I'm feeling good. Uh, just taping it up uh, when I go when I go to shoot when I go to practice uh, doesn't really bother me much. I mean, a little sore right now, but by the end of the week, I mean, I'll be I'll be fine. Definitely, definitely was some. I haven't had anything like that happen to me, so like it was definitely pretty shock, shocking to me when when it happened. When I first saw it. Yeah, I mean, what was going through your head? You you look down at your hand, you see one of your fingers sticking the wrong dire direction. I mean. Did any panic set in? I mean, were, were you concerned about the rest of the tourney? It was definitely panic, but I really was trying to get to the trainer as fast as I could and get him to pop it back in. Because I know when you have a dislocation, it hurts when it when it's popped out. But once it go, goes back in, then it kind of the pain kind of eases up. So once the once he popped it back in, the pain was it was still there, but it wasn't as bad as it was when it was sideways. When it was well, I can up. definitely I uh, have this conversation with you. I've had my share of shoulder surgeries those dislocations plagued me back in the day so uh once they put that finger back in it was just a little bit of pain and you were pretty much good to go right away yeah uh he said it was like 10 minutes it was like it'll be 10 minutes like the pain will still keep going but like after 10 minutes of like the pain will kind of ease away but it's still it's still pretty sore right now but it's not going to affect me for friday duke fans all over the world are having a huge sigh of relief right now i mean obviously you're a captain of the team for a reason. I mean, talk about that for a second, man. Duke is just a legendary program, one of the top programs every single year for you to rise all the way to the position you have. I mean, obviously, that was not given to you. That was taken. That was earned. Talk about that for a second. Just the ride, the whole four-year experience. I mean, Duke's obviously what it is. Um you go back to the early 90s with Leitner and Grant Hill and all those guys and Amaker. And then you go to the early 2000s, you got Carewell, you got Nate James, you got Boozer, you got just a plethora of guys. I mean, I can go down the list. But uh, for me to be able to be in this position now, two-year captain, um, play with Coach K, play with uh, Coach Shire, too, it's two different areas. To be able to be a part of that transition was huge for me. And uh, like you said, everything here was was definitely earned over me. It wasn't, it wasn't given. Uh, multiple times, it's been multiple times where I have, I've had good moments, I've had bad moments, and just had to really just keep my head down and work. Uh, don't listen to any of the outside noise because I mean at Duke here you get a lot of a lot of attention. So um, when things are going good, everybody's rooting for you. But when things are going bad, it gets gets a little quiet, and and uh, you just kind of gotta go back and uh, do what got you here. And that and for me, that's the work. So you have a new NIL deal, from what I understand, and it's a play. Off of your last name, you have a deal with Raid Bug Spray. Is that correct? Yeah, that's correct. Um, definitely was a, I mean, a huge opportunity. I mean, shout out to Ray for, um, for I mean, letting me partner. Obviously, my last name is big time to kind of keep my last name uh, with NIL and just keep my family name, my family uh, name in there. So uh, I know they did a, a partnership with a girls player um, on a Baylor's team. So um, it's definitely good to stay in the family for sure. This was uh, fun for me because my my stepdad, my stepbrother, their last name is Roach. So this is a, a really cool one. But I mean, this is this is a product that everybody knows, right? That everybody uses all over the world. And uh, now you're kind of the face of a product like that. Uh, did you ever think when, when you were a young kid, I mean, obviously you had dreams of playing ball, but did you ever have dreams of being the face of a brand like this, especially Raid in particular? Was that ever on your bucket list or something? Uh, I mean, it was definitely like circling, but like once NIO kind of hit, it was like, all right, yeah, this could be a possible thing. 
Um, my dad is huge in the raid. I mean, he's he's got hundreds of, hundreds of cans at the at the crib. So, um, definitely was something that was a possibility. But now, um, with Ray actually um, being able to partner with and do stuff with uh, through NIL um, when I'm in college, I mean, it was definitely an opportunity I just had to uh, just jump on. I mean, obviously, this is a really cool thing, and you guys had a little bit of fun with the name. But how did your family feel, man? Are they just so proud that you've been able to achieve? so much success on the court and now off the court as well with a campaign like this. Yeah, definitely. I mean, like I said, keeping the, keeping the last name uh, alive, alive and well, I mean, that's big time. I mean, my mom was like, this is the, this is the best, this is the best NIO you, you've ever done. So uh, she's, they, they're definitely happy. They always, <laughs> they're always texting in the group chat, the slogans and stuff like that. So um, nah, it's, it's, it's definitely cool.